All right, so today's episode, welcome back to Official Vintage TV. We're gonna be doing Tyler's collection. So it's a collection that we do in the end of every month. Um, we've, we've got a massive drop for the start. This is a January collection, and we're gonna be doing the morning, the um, lunchtime, and the night drop. But we're, how we're gonna show you guys is we're gonna separate it into groups. So we've got a, bit, we've got a whole bunch of basketball stuff dropping. We got um, a whole bunch of movie tees, a whole bunch of band tees. So we're just gonna separate it and just show you guys piece by piece what we're gonna be dropping. I'm gonna pick out a few of my favorites as well. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So for the morning drop, we've got a whole bunch of beer and alcohol tees that are dropping. These are super popular. Um, a whole bunch of people come to store asking about these, especially coming into summer as well. But these two t-shirts, which I would rock personally, we've got this Bud Light tee. It's just a white basic, very nice. And then we've also got this sort of Y2K um, Corona tee, which is a front and back print. You can see the back print there. Also gives me surf vibes as well. Well, if you guys know me, love my surf tees, but let's move on to the midday drops. Smoke tees are our midday drop. The funny story about this t-shirt is this was probably one of my first ever Marlboro t-shirts. It's a front and back print, but I always used to wear it. Then uh, I think someone stole it from me. But this used to be my first ever Marlboro tee. And this is just the iconic camel sweater. Good colors on this, got a front small head as well. This is in sweater form. So yeah, that's gonna be our midday drops. These are my faves. What's this? Oh, they're diaries. Just got a delivery in. Just got a delivery in. Latest wrap tea from <laughs> USA. <laughs> <laughs> They're just our diaries for 2023, you know? Organization is key in this game. As you guys know, I love my basketball and in this collection, because it's the first collection of the year, I decided to put a bunch of my personal tees in here. We got um, a lot of Chicago Bulls ring tees. So we got the two ring tees over here and then we've also got the championship tees as well. Um, but these are personals that are going into my collection. Um, so make sure you get in quick for these because there's not that many circulating at the moment. So we've done a bunch of TikToks on these bobblehead tees. These are all basketball ones, which are a lot more sought after than just normal bobblehead tees. Um, but these are all the championship ones. So we've got the Chicago Bulls, we've got the Pistons, we've got the Lakers as well. Um, the last ones we had, they sold out within pretty much a day. So these ones are pretty hard to get. And I also have a few of my personal collection that I'm really loving at the moment and I'm gonna keep for a little bit, but hopefully put it in Tyler's collection in the future. I've got these two Nike basketball tees. We got a couple of Nike basketball tees, but these are pretty rare ones. Um, this one's in the red, high fly Nike one. And then this is a Michael Jordan restaurant one with the sleeve hit as well. This one's super sought after and it's also in a large as well, which um, the bigger size for these ones are a lot more sought after and the black ones as well for these. So for the next bit of Tyler's collection, we got a whole bunch of movie tees. We've been collecting um, movie tees for the last four months. We know they're super popular in America and we're just sort of trying to fulfill the gap in Australia. They're not as popular yet, but um, we can see definitely see a gap in the market. For this stuff, we've got a whole bunch of horror tees. I've also got the Tomb Raider tees over there. Um, but we've got about 15 tees in this drop as you just saw before. Um, we'll show you a few more. So I've been collecting a lot of the Tarantino film tees. Um, I pretty much got all of them now. Um, that's why I'm loving movie tees at the moment. That's why I'm adding them to my um, collection at the end of every month. But we've got two bangers here. So we've got this Viva La Bam. He sort of just did a podcast with Steve-O, which is cool. And they're bringing out a new episode as well. And then we've also got this classic Napoleon Dynamite. Um, very cool on the red tee. Good graphic on it, cracking on the print. But yeah, these are two cool ones in the movie tees. Let me know if you guys want to see my Tarantino film um, t-shirt collection in the comments and I'll do a video about it as well. So I wanted to show you guys my favorite item of the drop first. This is a Woodstock 99. So pretty much Woodstock was a festival that was in the 70s. Um, it was just known for sort of peace and love. It was a very hippie festival where I know a lot of people took a lot of acid and smoked a lot of weed. Um, but then it got into the 90s where they tried to make this uh, Woodstock like it was in the 70s. So in the Netflix series, they did a whole um, five series part about this. It was pretty much a train wreck. They had a whole bunch of big punk rock acts performing like Rage Against the, uh, Rage Against the Machine and Limp Biscuit. 
there was no shade for anyone. It was super hot. Water was $8. They didn't have water for people and stuff like that. It was just a poorly run festival. It was sort of just a money grab, it seemed like. Um, but yeah, they had a whole Netflix series, so go watch that because it's super interesting. But at the end of the day, the 90s Woodstock would never compare to the 70s just because it was a different time and a different era. So with this t-shirt, it's one of my favorites in the drop as well. It's a new edition reunion tour tee. This is the front and this is the back. You know, Black Street. And the name of the band, um, New Edition, was inspired by Jackson 5 because they wanted to be the new new boy band. They wanted to be better than Jackson 5 and they wanted to be the New Editions. Um, so that's where the name came from. So the group was formed by a guy called Bobby Brown. If you guys know him, he was married to Whitney Houston. Um, but yeah, they were the modern day boy band of the 70s. I can really appreciate this tea. I love the story behind it. And there wasn't that many boy bands at that time. So this is um, a very unusual and rare tea as well. So for the last tee of the drop that I'm going to be showing you is this NWA tee. It was a hip hop group in the 80s and 90s. It had about, it had five people in it. So you have Dr. Dre, Ice Cube, Easy e MC Ren, and Yalla. <laughs> they had a whole lot of massive hits. One of them straight out of Compton, as you can see, straight out of Compton tee. They also have a Netflix show or a movie that came out called Straight Outta Compton as well, which is, was massive. The world's most dangerous group, and they're probably the first biggest group to ever sort of be on the scene. This is a 3XL, perfect for a rap tee sort of vibe. Um, yeah, it's a really good graphic, good screen printing on this. Yeah, good size. So thanks for tuning in to OVTV. This is my Tyler's collection for January that's gonna be dropping on the 31st. Make sure you head to the website at 7 p.m. We've also got those morning drops, but make sure you like, subscribe, all that fun stuff to our YouTube channel. We want to really grow it this year. So see you later. Thank you guys.